We've got some awesome C3 Corvette upgrades on this episode of What Are You In For? These C3 Corvettes are really a nice place to start if you're going to modify one. Of course, if you've got a numbers matching car, you want to keep it stock because that's good for the heritage and the value of the car. But we're looking at a 1972 Corvette Roadster, and this one was already missing its original engine, and it's wearing a different color, so it's kind of a guilt-free car to make some modifications. Uh, one of the things I like about this generation, especially the 68 to 72 cars, is that they have the chrome front bumper and a chrome rear bumper. 1973 was the first year where the whole nose was plastic and it changed the look a little bit. But this one is nice. It's got the right amount of trim that's nice and polished and bright against the deep blue Mulsanne blue paint. Now this car was originally Cortez Silver with the black interior. And like I said, it got repainted along the way, but it looks great today. So our customer is quite happy to have us do some modifications to this one to make it a better driver with more power and better handling. Those modifications kind of start under the hood. We've already started working on this car, obviously. Um, up here on the firewall, you can see the Detroit Speed select to speed wiper motor. And this uh, allows this uh, vacuum door to open up here and the wipers come out and offers a delay wiper feature, which this car didn't have originally. So it's just kind of a nice, you know, driving upgrade. You can see we've removed our master cylinder and our power brake booster because those are gonna get upgraded with a hydraulic brake booster and a, a Willwood master cylinder because this car's getting Willwood brakes all the way around. Right in front of that is a, an upgraded steering box. Now these Corvettes had a, a, like a manual steering gearbox and then a hydraulic ram that was mounted on the front suspension. So when you would turn the wheel, it would actuate this hydraulic ram and that was your power steering assist. And they worked pretty well, but there was a lot of different moving parts for the hydraulics and, and the actuator and the valve. So this is a unit from Borgeson, which makes it a more traditional internal power steering box with hoses that go to it. And it's also gonna tighten up that steering ratio and make this car a little more responsive. That's a great upgrade. Um, you can see our mock-up block for the LS engine. Uh, we did this because we're testing out the position of these adjustable LS motor mount plates. Uh, this car is gonna get a T56 six-speed manual transmission. So we wanna make sure we get the engine in the right spot so the transmission fits properly. A little while ago, we did a four-part video series on doing an LS T56 swap in one of these Corvettes. And you can see that we had to modify the transmission tunnel and, and do some magic there. That's all gonna happen on this one. If you wanna see the details, look up that other video series on YouTube. The engine in this car is gonna be a 530 horsepower LS3 uh, with uh, the corresponding front drive system and we'll make an air intake uh, similar to what we've done on others. So it's gonna add a lot more power, drivability, reliability. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to drive once that's all installed. And part of that driving fun is the way it handles. So you can see here, we've already installed some Global West suspension components. We've got their upper and lower control arm conversion and a coilover shock and spring system. We really like these parts from Global West. One of the key factors is the bushing here. It's uh, made of Delrin, you can see the white part right there. This is not rubber, it's not polyurethane. Um, the Delrin is almost like nylon, but it's a slightly different material than that. And it allows these arms to articulate real smoothly without any bushing deflection. And they're greasable, they last forever, they don't squeak. Uh, so it's a really nice way to add uh, precise handling to a car like this. Uh, plus the tubular design uh, revises the suspension geometry just a little bit so that they track straight going down the highway. Uh, so great upgrade for the front suspension. And then in the front, we have the Detroit Speed uh, electric headlight conversion. And this is real popular on these cars because they had a vacuum system to open and close the headlights in the past. It wasn't very reliable. This will make that nice and smooth to operate. Uh, we've also got some upgrades going in the rear suspension, some tubular control arms back there as well, as well as a, a, a coilover shock and spring. Uh, we're changing the rear gear ratio to match the final drive of our new powertrain, and we'll be finishing this off with Willwood brakes and uh, 
some upsized rally wheels and better tires all the way around. So this is going to be a great project. Um, you can follow along in the photo galleries on our website at v8speedshop.com. And if you have a classic or a muscle car that you want upgraded with modern technology or a Corvette like this one, feel free to contact us right through the box you'll find on our website, again at v8speedshop.com. And that's what this one's in for. See you next time.